Hi guys, Lisa the Bear here, and welcome to my channel. Here you will find all things sewing, crafting, and chaotic. I'm here today with another sewing video for you. It's starting to get warmer out very, very slowly, but it's got me itching to work out in my garden. And one thing that I realized is that I do not have good gardening shorts. Uh, I've got running shorts, I've got, you know, regular jean shorts, but I don't have anything that I can just go out and get muddy uh, that also have pockets. So, I found this pattern in my stash. It is Butterick 4896. It's a fast and easy pattern. It's not vintage or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's left over from my mom. Um, and I'm gonna make some gardening shorts with some nice deep pockets for all of the things. So without further ado, let the chaos begin. All right, friends. So first things first, I gotta thread my serger. So a little background on this serger. I have had this for probably four and a half years now, and I have been massively intimidated by it. So I figured it out and, well, it's been a serious game changer. Uh, I absolutely love it and am kicking myself that I took so long to bite the bullet on it. Uh, I basically watched a video on YouTube and so far I have changed thread in it three times and it gets easier to thread every single time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to serge all of our pieces, finish off all those edges and get them all nice and complete so that we can just sew this together really quick on the machine. Um, I'm definitely still getting the hang of curves. Uh, I think it just comes with practice. Um, I welcome any suggestions if anyone's willing to share. I definitely welcome them as I am new to the serging world. Um, but heh, peep my daughter in the background. She was pretending to fix all of my machines while I worked. And I try not to show my kiddos too much in my videos, um, but I do have four and they like to be around me, so it is what it is. So once we have all those pieces surged, I took this over to my machine and I am attaching pocket piece A or the front pocket piece to the front of the shorts, matching curves with right sides together. Then I'm going to clip that curve and I'm going to top stitch down the top of it so that it looks nice and neat and sits nice and flat against the shorts. You can peep Miss Bailey Sarian in the background there as I'm top stitching these uh, pockets down. Uh, she's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch both while I'm sewing and just doing stuff around the house. I love her makeup looks and uh, just kind of dig her personality, especially her dark history series. That's been a real lot of fun. All right, so after we get that front pocket, piece put on we're gonna put on pocket piece B or the back part of the pocket um, and we're gonna put that on the front side of the pocket so again we're going to match uh, matching seams matching curves sewing all the way around the pocket right sides together uh, taking our time you know the drill while we attach those pockets. A little fun fact about me, I learned how to sew without patterns first. Uh, I would just figure it out on my own or I would get an online tutorial that just called for measurements. Um, I finally sewed with a pattern when my oldest uh, wanted to be a wizard for Halloween and had picked out a very specific cape pattern from Joann's. Um, now I look for vintage and secondhand patterns when I can and when I can afford them. 
All right, so I'm taking the pocket. So this is our back pocket, and I'm ironing down the flap, um, getting it nice and flat using a lot of steam. This is cotton, so it can take it. Um, and then I also clipped the edges of that top fold down about a quarter inch away from the left and right corners just to ease the turning a bit. This just helps those side seams lay a little bit more flat when you uh, sew it to the back portion of the shorts. The fabric I'm using today is just a standard cotton fabric. I've had this, this fabric in my stash probably for close to five years. Um, it's not my favorite pattern um, of fabric, but it's just going to be getting muddy and dirty, so I'm not too concerned about it. And here I am sewing on the Velcro um, onto the actual pocket, and then I'm going to sew the piece onto the shorts following the lining that was noted on the pattern piece. Uh, you don't want to use self-stick Velcro for this. It's not going to last through through a wash, and you can't really sew through self-stick Velcro. Um, so I would definitely recommend sew on. And then I lined that back pocket up with the Velcro and I'm just stitching it in place. I'm going about an eighth of an inch away from that turned edge so that it stays nice and finished and closed. So I'm curious, what are you guys growing in your gardens this year? Do you do exotic fruits and vegetables or do you stick to kind of the standard tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchinis vibe? I'm curious. So in our garden every year, we like to, uh, we do pretty much traditional fruits and veg. We do tomatoes, uh, yellow squash, zucchini, uh, cucumbers, and then we have raspberry bushes that come back every year. All right, so after we get that pocket on, we're gonna attach the back portion of the shorts piece to the front portion of the shorts piece. You're gonna attach those side seams together, right sides facing, and you're gonna sew all the way down the sides and then I just repeated that on the second side. So after we get those side seams together, you get to watch me struggle with these pieces. <laughs> So what you're going to do is you're going to line the crotch line up, and this is actually my second time doing this. Uh, when I first tried to line them up, they just would not line up. Uh, come to find out, I had sewed two front pieces together instead of a front piece and a back piece, so live and seam rip. But once I got them lined up, I matched the middle seams first, uh, making sure that they stayed nice and together. Then I matched my side, my side seams or the tops together. And then I just pinned down that curve, making sure that everything stayed together. And then I just sewed all the way down that center crotch line. A couple of times I've had people comment that I don't use pins a lot. Um, I do use them. Um, you can see me using them here, sewing the crotch of these shorts. Um, but only if I'm sewing something particularly finicky. Um, I'm not a big fan of using them in general. Like if, as long as the fabric sticks together nice, I'm, I don't worry about it too much. So next I uh, put the waistband into the shorts. So I started by sewing the two short ends together to make a circle, and then I started lining it up. I started with the center back seam, so I lined the center back seam of the waistband onto the center back seam of the shorts, then the front seam, and then the side seams, and then pinned from there. Now, as you can see, uh, my waistband is not perfect. For some reason, I followed the pattern. It was still, I'd say about a good half inch um, bigger than my actual shorts waistband, uh, which ended up working out fine. When you cut the waistband, you cut it so that it goes with the stretch. So it's got just a tiny bit of give to it. So I was actually able to just stretch that so that it, um, it reached all the way to the end as I sewed. Thank you. 
So after that, I turned the waistband down. So I folded it by a quarter of an inch and then about an inch and a half uh, to cover that seam on the inside of the shorts. Um, I did iron this and then I just went around and pinned where I could. I attached the waistband from the front by stitching in the ditch, leaving about a two inch section unsewn so that we can put that elastic through. Uh, stitching in the ditch refers to carefully sewing from the front in that seam you just created. And then here we are, we're getting our safety pin with our elastic. And then we thread that one inch elastic through the waistband. I am using a one inch non-roll elastic waistband for this. Um, I got the measurement for this by measuring my waist and then I subtracted an inch. Um, I prefer the non-roll elastic. Um, to say that it's truly non-roll would be a lie. It does roll every once in a while, but you really have to put it through some stress to get it to roll and buckle on itself. Um, otherwise it stays pretty flat through washes and work. Once I got that elastic all the way through, I sewed it together with a zigzag stitch on my machine. And then I closed the hole up. I closed the hole up that we created uh, for threading it by stitching in the ditch again and gently stretching the fabric so that it was taut. Last but not least, I ironed the hem of the legs up by about a half inch. Again, I eyeball it. And then I stitched from the top. You can also stitch from the back side on this if these are just play shorts, but it does give it a little bit more of a professional look if you go from the front. And here are the final shorts. Simple, nice deep pockets, comfy waistband. I'm happy. I'm not super thrilled with how the pockets stick out when you stand like when you're just standing, but in the end, these will be for gardening, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, thanks for coming along with me today to make a nice pair of gardening shorts. I can't wait to see what you guys make yourselves. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, what you're growing in your garden this year. Uh, I'm anxious to know. You know, we do the typical tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, and zucchinis, but I think we want to branch out and try something new. So if you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button and maybe even hit the subscribe button for some more chaotic content. And as always, have a chaos day.